What up everybody? Today I'm making another low carb, keto friendly recipe. And this time, I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite pasta, minus the egg and flour based noodles. Insert the zucchini noodles to make a keto carbonara. Let's get on with the recipe. All great recipes start with a salted cured meat. And this recipe is no different. It starts with bacon. Or you can use pancetta or guanciale, you get the picture. If you know anything about traditional carbonara, you know that the ingredients alone, being bacon, eggs, and cheese, are incredible. So when combining that with pasta, it's a total home run. But what if you can't have gluten? Or if you can't have carbs? That's where this recipe comes into play. This thing right here is a vegetable and fruit spiralizer. It turns foods into spirals, such as curly fried potatoes, curly apples, and in this case, zucchini noodles. You see, these days, you can readily find zucchini noodles at your local grocery store. So if you don't want to invest in a spiralizer, check that out first. And the thing about this dish, and what I've heard in terms of feedback, is that the noodles always stay wet, and the carbonara sauce rarely sticks. Well, I got tricks for that. My trick is to boil the noodles and then pan fry them, but that's not the only reason to boil the zucchini. I need to use the starchy leftover water to help melt the cheese for the sauce, and thicken all this up if need be. Add the zucchini noodles to a medium high frying pan and cook until the noodles begin to brown. Add the bacon and mix well. In a separate bowl, combine the eggs with the Parmesan cheese and a generous amount of black pepper. I mean, this is carbonara and carbonara has a lot of black pepper. In order to turn this into a sauce, bring back a bit of that noodle water. Slowly add it to the egg mixture, making sure to not add too much or the eggs will scramble. Then add it to the pan with the bacon and zucchini and mix a lot, vigorously if you will. The key here is to continue mixing so that the excess water from the noodles will combine with everything and create an amazing, incredible, super delicious carbonara sauce. Plate the dish and garnish with as much Parmesan cheese as you like. I did it again. I created a keto low carb alternative to my favorite pasta and I love it. It's amazing. Look at this. All the deliciousness that a traditional carbonara possesses minus all those carb loaded noodles. Insert pretty healthy zucchini noodles. It's not pasta. So throw that out the window. It's vegetables but it's given me that awesome pasta mouthfeel, that taste, traditional carbonara, which is my favorite, obviously, bacon and eggs. Now, zucchini noodles are one of those things that most grocery stores are carrying these days, but if your grocery store doesn't carry it, or maybe you wanna make your own vegetable noodles, check the link in the description for that vegetable and fruit spiralizer. If you want the recipe to this keto carbonara, check out recipechampions.com or I'll provide a link down below if you wanna go directly there. I'm Josh Elkin and this is Keto Carbonara. I got a whole plate left. I'm gonna make a whole other plate because it's low carb. Bye. Keto Carbonara. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to become a recipe champion in your own home, head over to recipechampions.com for all my published recipes. You can learn how to make crazy things like Fruity Pebbles cheesecakes or even an Eggs Benedict burrito. Go check it out and learn how to turn yourself into a recipe champion.